Welcome back. We are following breaking weather now as the biggest snowstorm in a couple of years gets ready to move into northeast Wisconsin. We've got winter storm warnings here from once again roughly the Fox Valley south and east. Winter storm watches to the north and west of this. This is for Wednesday night through Thursday. On top of that, the National Weather Service in Milwaukee has also issued a blizzard watch here for Fond du Lac, Green Lake, and Marquette County. So we've got a major winter storm moving towards Wisconsin. We've got the winter storm warning in place for about half of the viewing area. We're looking at the threat of very heavy snow, blizzard conditions, blowing and drifting snow. Winds could be gusting up up to around 50 miles per hour at times, producing whiteout conditions, especially as we move into Thursday afternoon, evening and night. And of course, that'll produce treacherous traveling. And on top of that, we could have some thunder and lightning thrown in as well with snowfall rates up to two to three inches per hour. So when all is said and done, this is the way it looks right now. There could still be a little bit of wobbling with the snow track here as far as the totals are concerned, but right now it looks like roughly about a foot up and down the Fox Valley, south and east. Some areas will see in excess of that. It's not out of the question. Somebody could end up with 15, 16, 17, or 18 inches of snow out of the storm. Having said that, it is going to be very difficult to measure with winds gusting 40, 50 miles per hour, 8 to 12 inches just north and west of the Fox Valley. And then once you get well north and west across the northwestern part of the NBC 26 viewing area, it looks like about 4 to 8 inches of snow will fall by the time we get to early Friday morning. Today, cloudy skies across just about the entire area after just a little bit of sunshine during the morning. And those clouds did produce some light snow. In fact, parts of southern Wisconsin picking up two to three inches of snow. We had a dusting, maybe a half an inch in spots here from roughly the Oshkosh area south, and we're still looking at some light snow this evening. That'll slowly push off during the next couple of hours. That is being produced by a weak system, which is moving into lower Michigan. Behind it, we've got high pressure, and that'll be our main weather maker as we head into tomorrow, giving us a mixture of clouds and sunshine. By tomorrow afternoon, the storm will be gathering strength as it pulls out of the Rocky Mountains. It's going to start to head east northeast and on precision cast you can see the snow actually start to move in as we head into tomorrow afternoon and evening getting ready to cross the Mississippi River here by about five o'clock. That snow will continue to overspread northeast Wisconsin as we head past midnight into Thursday morning and then all day Thursday the snow will be flying. We could be looking at blizzard conditions across much of the state. Winds gusting 50 maybe 60 miles per per hour in spots blinding snow with icy and snow covered roads as the storm moves through. You can see where the heart of the heavy snow is going to fall by where the winter storm warnings have been issued. And once again, 12, 16, 17 inches of snow across parts of the area, not out of the question by early Friday morning. So tonight, any lingering flurries or light snow will come to an end. We'll see mostly cloudy skies. Overnight lows will be in the mid-20s. Tomorrow, sunshine mixing with some clouds. Highs in the mid-30s. Tomorrow, of course, will be the calm before the storm. On Thursday, we get the storm. Heavy snow, windy conditions, highs around freezing. On Friday, maybe a lingering flurry early, then sunshine mixing with clouds in the afternoon. Still windy, and that's going to be a cold northerly wind, so highs will only be in the mid-20s. Sun and clouds then for Saturday. Sun and clouds for the Packers on Sunday. High temperatures will be in the mid-20s. Christmas Eve, sun and clouds, mid-20s. And then, Stacy, look at that. Christmas Day. Aww. There is the potential for yet another snowmaker and that one needs to be watched as well. Really? Yes. A one-two punch possibly? It's possible. Let's get through punch number one here first though. <laughs> you say that with a big smile. I know you want I the snow. I love snow. I mean we haven't seen something like this since uh, really March of uh, 2010. Yeah we are long overdue. Yep.